Hey everyone, Defensive here, and today, as the community manager of Brawlhalla, I am presenting to you, the community, another rework that we've, you know, turned around pretty quickly. We've received a lot of mixed feedback about Loki, the newest legend, so we've made some small adjustments to his kit. Without further ado, let's get on with this rework. Starting with Loki's scythe kit, you'll quickly notice Side Sig has undergone a little increase to its hitbox to more accurately match its animation. Neutral Signature, on the other hand, has had some more interesting changes. The normal version has been completely reworked into a more flashy signature, and the active input now sends the enemy far up in the air. D-Sig received similar changes to Side-Sig, aka a hitbox increase. Oh, and also some added range in the form of multiple cannonballs. Now on to the Katar kit, because Loki has Scythe and Katars. We've had some complaints about Loki's Katar side signature, so instead of nerfing it, we decided to make it an Exodia move by turning it into an instant kill that will save you from the void. Loki will now be able to move while holding neutral sig. And in addition to that, he'll also fire an infinite range cannonball to help cover those vertical approaches. And last but not least, we decided to add a little bit of spice to Guitar Down Signature. We've increased its reward because it is naturally a little bit hard to hit. So when you do hit it, your enemies will be greeted by a tremendous explosion at the end of it. We sincerely hope you liked this rework. Please leave your feedback in the comments and let us know who you'd like to see balance next. Have a happy Spooktober and see you next time.